Alright guys, welcome to an episode of a new series that I'm kind of kind of excited about. I am playing on my mod server right now. I'm by myself. Dale is on the team speak and he will be joining me shortly. Say hello. Hello. He is also the all-star gamer on YouTube. You can uh, find his link in the description below. I do apologize for a lack of videos lately. I've been a bit sick and finishing up work, finishing up school. I uh, had a little bit of a close call with school. Um, as far as grades go, um, like my grades were fine. It just if I made an A, I didn't have to pay for the class. Otherwise, I did. And well, it turns out I made an A. Don't have to pay for the class. I'm done. So, yeah, uh, I've got a few basic things going on. I didn't want to get too far into into the progress here. Um, but this is a new map. I said they reset the map about. 12 hours ago. Um, the last map I had was wonderful. I was just having issues with better storage. And um, better storage is a neat mod, but it's not on here anymore. And I replaced it with iron chests. So sorry, copy girl, but stability issues, you know? Um, so I did find this nice little village. I'm kind of off a ways from spawn. I think it's about that way. But I did find this little village and made my house right next to it. Got a nice little place set up here. So, yeah, we have Chi Construct and, of course, my usual tech mods, the hat mod, or hats mod by iTunes, and, um, what do you think, Iron Chess, Bibliocraft, the usual Forestry, Red Power, not Red Power, uh, Forestry, IC2, the usual. Um, so, yeah. Now, hopefully you guys notice a bit of a difference in the audio quality. I'm using a new microphone. I actually just got this microphone today. It's a Corsair, um, jeez, where to go for remembering, Corsair Raptor headset. I don't remember which one. It's like the bottom line one, but it's still a pretty nice headset. Um, Dale's been telling me that I sound pretty good this entire time, so pretty exciting. So yeah, right now my plans are to go find some lava real quick for my smeltery. I've got a nice little smeltery out here. This is from Tinker's Construct. And what you can do is melt down your ores using lava, of course, which is going to go in this tank. I'm all out right now. And you can shape it into ingots or put it into this guy right here, which will make blocks of metal, which is what I'm trying to do. As you can see, I've got a gold ingot here heating up, but I ran out of lava for it to heat up with. So at this point, it's kind of up to me getting some more lava. So this is my nice little mine shaft. I was going to get some more lava, heat up that gold, and I was going to heat up this iron ore. Um, so for each iron ore you get, you get two ingots worth of metal, or liquid metal. Hopefully Dale's ping increases, because that's, that's a sad ping rate you got right there. Oh, is it low again? One. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. Just went back to five. You're good. I'm good, okay. Sweet. It was really bad earlier, but I think that's because he was uploading. Yep, that, that would probably do it. I'm not sure, though, but... Wait, are you by this, uh, this spawn village or another village? Another village. Alright. Um... Yeah. Do you need me to send you my coordinates again, or are you just curious? Um, right now I'm setting up Audacity and stuff, because I need to make sure this sounds good gotcha. on my side. But yeah, I've got a few plans for today's episode. I'm mostly going to melt down this iron ore into uh, some iron ingots, or blocks, then turn them into ingots. But I um, I planned on making a pair of longfall boots real quick. Kind of something I'm going to need. Excuse me while I meet my microphone real quick. I've got a cough. Sorry about that, guys, but I'm back. And let's see if this is going to update. Nope. Not going to update visually inside that GUI. I've had a few little visual update glitches with T Construct. Oh, oh. I've got mail. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Thank you, Twitter, for letting me know that I need to complete my profile that I set up for no real reason the other day. 
I don't even use Twitter. I just wanted it to win free stuff, literally. Could have won a free gaming mouse. Not that I need one. I just got a new one. But hey, why not? There we are, it finally updated. <laughs> and you're gonna see this gold ingot melt into gold in liquid form. Ta-da! Looks beautiful. And if I right click on this little drain here, it's gonna drain it out into the block cast. And then it should solidify. I don't know if it's not full enough. Apparently not. My bad. I don't know how many gold I was supposed to put in here. Uh, did you, do we sell the coordinates over there on the, uh, text? Or, or the chat? Um, no, I can send you my coordinates again. You want me yeah, to? Yeah, that'd be nice. Sure. Alright, let's see. Yay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. If you want to come team up not with me, far, you're more than it? welcome to. No, it's not too far. Alright. You're in the desert, right? Yep. Right next to a village. Well, it's a mountainous desert and a normal vanilla village, not a desert village. What? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yep, Extra Biomes has borked code, in my opinion. I mean, if you ask me, if it's a desert biome, then you should use the sandstone villages. But, apparently... It's actually a little bit more complicated than that, though, with the code. Like, yeah. I've seen the code for it, it's weird how it works. Well, his villages also don't really generate properly. Actually, that's not his fault. Wow, this this biome. Holy crap. Holy cow. There we go, gold block. That's a beautiful cavern. And that's wonderful, I've got ten gold. And, oh yeah, my iron. I almost forgot. How much lava do I have? I'm probably going to go get some more real quick. Um, I'll let y'all come with me. It's not going to be a big deal. Woo, falling. But yeah, I've got just about uh, just enough diamond and obsidian to make myself a pair of longfall boots. And I think I might also look into making some bronze the T-Construct way and make some bron a bronze uh, rapier and shovel. Maybe even a bronze axe. Wow. I'm... Oh my god. I'm sorry. This is... Wonderful. This is... This, this biome, oh my god. Awesome. Fail? Yeah, these, ca these caverns, bro. These caverns. Mm. I'm looking there. down in these holes and they're just like... Live there. I'm not gonna make you live with me. Or be over here. Do what you feel like. Yeah. But yeah. So as far as you guys go, I have wonderful news. I'm actually done with both work and school. Uh, work has started basically because, of course, I work on a college campus. Work does a layoff whenever um, the season gets kind of slow. So, um, you know, winter and summer seasons are, of course, very slow traffic. So they lay off a few of their employees and rehire them after the season's over with and I was one of the lucky people not like it's difficult to get laid off really at my place um, but I was one of the lucky people to be given this opportunity so starting Saturday I'm going or actually technically I'll have to wait until Monday I'm going to try to draw unemployment and then I can get money for free for not work <laughs> and um, the way my work was kind of screwed me over with hours. They were really still doing it and whatever. You guys know. Um, but the way they were doing it before, basically I'm going to be making ideally more than what I... Um, or I will be making more by not working than I was when I was working. What? I just crashed. What? Or got pushed out. I don't I don't understand. There's nothing to understand, sir. So this is oh, molten. Oh, no, I'm going to have to edit that iron. part of the video out. Because you showed my IP? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I did it once, streaming. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, what did I just do? <laughs> 
It's not like anybody could get on anyway, because I mean... No, so not that, mods. but they can DDoS you. Ah, that's true. Or me, my server. Not me, this is... Not locally hosted. There is a bit of a synchronization bug. You see how I'm supposed to have two iron blocks and two iron ingots in my inventory, and I don't? Well, I do, you just can't see them. <laughs> if I re-logged, I would. T-Construct just needs better syncing. Better client server syncing. And now, how much lava have I got? Still a good amount. Good. See, and now as soon as I opened up the smelter, it popped in. We're gonna do tin and copper, three to one ratio. Are you are you kidding me? What's it doing? It's doing a connection reset. What? Ah, oh, my God. I'm gonna quickly craft up a pair of longfall boots for you guys, by the way. For me? For me. Oh. Nope. You said for your guys, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> nope. Wait, there's only, there's only one me, though, bro. Yep. And that's me. Oh my god, you live so far. Mm, nope. So basically what I've got going on here is an ingot cast. You can get these by uh, magic. <laughs> it's not really that complicated, but yeah, you can get ingot casts. And you can also get tool piece casts, like a shovel head, handle, whatever. But I just prefer using ingots and then crafting them into the other pieces later. Because I can then use the ingot to repair an existing tool or make another tool. It's completely up to me. Oh, I see a village. Do I need to repaste my coordinates? No, no, I see a village. Oh, God. This, 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 whoa. No, no. What's going on inside of a block? Here, suffocate on a block for us. Not, not you know really you want to. I'm just like looking at darkness. So I should get actually a lot of bronze from this because two, four, six. I should get <clears throat> probably eight bronze. That's my guess. We're going to find out. So here's our bronze alloy just sitting as a metal. Plop. Jesus, Bronzing. that was that was terrible. I'm guessing eight. I see a Steve's face over there. What? It has to be you. Nope, it's the other player on the server. Oh no, no, I'm starving. Jesus. I got two, I got two hearts left. Two bronze? Can you make it? No, I don't think so. I'm probably already dead. It's just lagging. No, you're not dead yet. Oh, no. It, wow. Wow. Something's really wrong with this server. Why? I'm, like, really bad. It's like I'm getting sent back to, like, previous locations, like, motherfucking. Hmm. Oh. Take oh, this. Quick, dang. quick, 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 quick. I'm about to die. No, take that really quickly. If I pick it up, there we go. Wow. Okay, I'm full. <laughs> okay, now run back that, to my house. You're almost there. Don't weird. fall in a hole. Wait, is this on normal or hard? Hard. Really? Because I didn't die and I was down to half a heart and it like, didn't change. Unless I've, it's just lag. Probably. Let me see if I can make you a bed real quick. This is a, this is a beautiful house. I think I've actually already got a bed. I've already got a bed. Thank you. Arcane Empowerment. Yes, you if you've got... House? Yeah, I built this house. Oh, wow, nice. And if you have levels, you can uh, do stuff. Oh, yeah, I got I four bronze from that. Okay, good. I was going to say... Love your, I love your skin. This is part of the HD thing? Yeah. Um, if you find an HD skin and or cape, you can do slash C-O-F-H. Or... that. Hmm. Are you judging my TARDIS? Lol. <laughs> I was just like, what's this? It's a hat stand. You can right click to change what hat it is. Are we going to sleep or something? Sure. Find a place to put your bed. Downstairs also works. Nope, not cake. I haven't gone downstairs yet. We'll check that out.
Oh, I'll check it out, not you. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> oh, I was about to say we have a nice little balcony here. Yeah. You'll like the basement. Your door's backwards. Nope. <laughs> Don't tell me how to door. Oh, wow, nice. I like the window. Mm-hmm. I like the splattered what? zombie pieces. What mod adds these, uh, these desert novas? Uh, Ars Magica. Okay, I need to take a look at that mod. Ars Magica is an amazing mod. Because uh, I, I need to learn a lot about particles. <laughs> particles are... yeah. That's actually not a particle, that's just an animation. Another thing coming off of it, that's a particle. Oh god, Animation. it's a creeper. Particle, bro. That's definitely a particle. Definitely not. Definitely an animation. What do you, what do you think a particle is? <laughs> well, yes, but it's an animation on the block itself. Not a particle effect it has. It's, it's coming off of it. It's going so, out and like... That could be the animation. I think you're right. But I'm just picking on you. Because if it was an animation, then it wouldn't be able to leave the 16 by 16 area that that you're just, you're sprite just, index you're just, uses. You're just trying to mess with me. Yep. As a, it's clearly it a particle. <laughs> Whoa, this, this tree is weird. Uh, that's a secure tree. I want to eat it. Actually, that's what the planks on my floor are made out of. Can we eat the You leaves? can also make doors out of them. You you can you can try. <laughs> <laughs> So like it reminds me of cotton candy. Yes. The purple ones. Mm-hmm. Blue ones, I mean. No. All right, so let's go downstairs. Actually, do I have any more patterns? I should have patterns somewhere, right? Yes, patterns. Uh, I don't even know why I try. Oh my god. God, these coughing fits are getting on my nerves. Alright, so I've got a rod, binding, and pickaxe head already. Let me grab, um, shovel, axe. So how are you treeing here? How am I what? How do you tree here? You I mean, cut down the tree. With, with this, this giant pink one? If you want to. No, no, I'm good. That one's sure. kind of scary. Slightly intimidating, huh? Yeah. It's, it's a giant pink gypsy tree. I'm not into those. Oh, ah, you freaking hill. Damn you, hill. I, I, I'm always falling off them. This jungle. This jungle. Hmm. Are we teaming up again? If you want to. Alright, cool. It's up to you. My house will be across the river. Okay. Okay, okay. See if I can manage this. This is going to be a cliff house. Never done one of these. Whoops. I can't spell bronze. Bronze metal is the name of my new thing. Also, I'm going to make a shovel out of bronze, I think. Never mind. I'm coming back. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, you know, teamwork, I think we should live in one house. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, you should come and, um, make yourself some bronze tools then. Oh, man. Because I'm short on iron. Bronze tools. I'm melting up apparently a book. No, using I'm melting this, up. Using this complex mod over here? Yeah, it's not complex. Is it downstairs? The smell tree is outside. That's what I'm doing. I'm making your bronze. And yes, yes, I know you guys. I could just use the forestry recipe for bronze. That's completely not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to use the mods. I know how to make bronze, but I'm not making that bronze because I don't feel like it. Whoa. Whoa? Look out. I your guess window. I wasn't really using this mod correctly on the other place, was I? Nope. <laughs> Why? 
What makes you? Oh, because like you can put the pattern chest next to the yep. the uh, heart builder, and it does that. Yes. All right. Yeah, I didn't know that. Pretty boss. Makes it a lot easier. Let's mm -hmm. see. And how did you get these things on the tool station to appear? What things on the tool well, station? Were they already here on the left side? Yeah, those were already there. Oh, I guess I'm just blind. Yes. If you come upstairs, I want to blow your mind. You want to blow my mind? Yeah. So you want to see how I've been making bronze? Crazy shit. The smeltery. Smeltery, yep. Uses the lava. It's a multi-block structure. This one actually generated with this village. But I had to oh, make wow, a few... Really? I had to make a few pieces of it. Um... Like the main controller piece, which is like the part that actually makes the multi-block function. Basically, you right-click on the controller block, which is this block right here on the bottom with the furnace front. And you can click things in there, shift-click or normal-click. If you put any ore in there, it doubles the output, like a macerator or whatever. Hmm. And um, what I'm doing here, as you can kind of see, is taking three copper and one tin melting them together to get bronze which is what oh, we have here look it, it turned it to bronze yes and now I could either put it into this casting basin which will turn it into a block of bronze which I can't do because I don't have enough bronze in there or I can put it into the ingot cast and oh, make God. ingots from it so to do that <laughs> that's what we want to do so right click on this little faucet here oh that's cool and then once you see how it goes into the little cast yeah. Once it goes in and hardens into the ingot, right click on it. Bronze ingot. And just keep on doing that until you're out of bronze. There should be enough for four bronze ingots. Also, I have a bronze nut, a bronze chunk left over from other recipes. That that's really cool. So this this uh, does require lava, which is the downside. But if you go mining, then Lava's not a difficult thing to find. But you can do it with most... Uh, well, you can do it with copper, tin, aluminum, ardite, cobalt... And iron and gold. I don't know if I said iron and gold yet. Search. So how should I make this bronze pickaxe? Should I use it all? Like, all bronze? Like even um, bronze I would. You'll get, you'll get some cool stuff from that. So come over here to the, uh, to the part builder. And then take the iron ingot, or the bronze ingot, and put it in the little ingot slot, and then grab a tool binding pattern from the left. And make one of those, and grab your bronze chunk, put the tool binding pattern back, and make a rod. And use the bronze chunk to make the rod. Don't forget about the half a material requirement. Well, I did not know that, actually. Yeah, so a bronze chunk is basically 0.5 of an ingot, and any of the bindings... Or uh, hand guards, crossbars, or rods use 0.5. So instead of wasting a full ingot, you can use a half of a, the 0.5, the nuggets, instead. Which can be really, really helpful. Yeah, that, that is really cool. So, uh, bronze is one, right? Yeah, for the pickaxe head, you'll have to have the whole piece. Okay, so that's pretty much all I need, right? Those three? Yep, and then come over here to the tool station, the one to the left. Oh, that's simple. Click on the little pickaxe tab. Oh, tab. Oh, there we go. And you can name it before you make it, or you oh. can just make it. <laughs> Not, uh, 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 nothing to see here. <laughs> that's cool. I yep. like your cape. Oh, yeah. HD Minecon cape, because I totally didn't go. <laughs> Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you haven't really done much, have you? Um, no. As you can see. That's why I just now started recording instead of recording right off the bat. But bronze is pretty quick, and as that pickaxe breaks, you can go back to that tool table and use a bronze ingot and that bronze pickaxe as a broken or full, full, or, you know, broken or slightly damaged, and combine the two and it'll repair it for you. So it's like an anvil? Yeah. Except it doesn't require levels, it just requires resources. Are you skipping every one or every two? I'm doing every one this time around. Marcus made a good point about these that if you do just every if you do every one then you can actually find slightly more material. Because of the floor and the ceiling. 
remove this then. And here you go. Nope. Nope. Do you know that if you hold down Control and Q at the same time, you can throw an entire stack at once? No, I did not know that. Is that new? I don't know if that's inventory tweaks or if that's vanilla. 1-5? Yeah. <clears throat> we should probably try to get like a turtle as fast as possible so we don't do this on camera. Yeah. I could get a turtle right now, actually. I just don't have fuel for it. Hmm. Oh, I have torches. There we go. Did you give me torches or something? I gave you torches. No, I didn't notice. And as you go mining, don't forget you can use uh, cobblestone for wooden or for stone rods. And you can use those on torches as well. For torches. With coal. Oh, stone rods? Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. How do you make stone rods? Uh, same way as you make sticks, but with cobblestone. Oh, wow. He gives you two. Four if you use smooth stone, but that kind of defeats the point if you're mining. Keep on forgetting I don't have to worry about fall damage anymore. Oh, hello, lava. You are You mean. twat. I won't call you bad words, but I know we're recording. <laughs> uh, I have such a potty mouth. Right. Stop cussing. What? Nope. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys missed it earlier, I also bought a new mouse, which is a very nice mouse. It's the Razer Naga 2012. It's a very nice mouse. Naga. I'm quite impressed. Twilight Force, bro. <laughs> I hate that thing. Do we have that mod installed? Yep. Oh, we should go there. We should. Also, we have Dartcraft. So, for those of you who don't know, Dartcraft is amazing. There seems to be a, uh... A retarded ender tot up here. <laughs> I actually don't know much about that new mod, Dartcraft. <clears throat> Only seen a little bit of it, so totally yeah. me. Have you yeah, found any diamonds yet? I have, yes. I think I've got seven. Redstone. Good, good, good. Yeah, on the last server I went with the magic route first and just kind of was slowly moving towards tech, but I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but it just took too long. So I'm just going to move straight towards tech if I can. What mod are you going to get into first? Um, I don't know, probably, pulver uh, probably pulverizer, yes, probably uh, thermal expansion again. And we're using, uh, we have, do we have that really complex one? Is it, um, that mod I, that makes everything harder? Greg Tech? No. Yeah. No. We don't have Greg Tech? Nope. Alright, cool. <laughs> we can actually enjoy the game. I mean, I like Greg Tech, but I can never get anything. <clears throat> Greg Tech plus Terra from a craft equals total suicide. <laughs> I could agree with that. That that oh that'd be terrible. That'd be miserable. Right? I've hard enough time with Terra from a craft. I think I'm a fair I don't know actually. Seriously. I don't know what I could compare. Terra from a craft is just I mean it's great, but at the same time it's just like mm, I'll pass. I'm like obsessed with automating things. Everything in my in my games has to be automated. Generic B is starting your Terra Craft series. Really? Mm hmm It's going pretty well for him. He hasn't died yet. I just don't feel like you can automate. You can't. No, that's the that's the point. 
real life doesn't really... I, I don't know, that's the thing with Terraforma Craft. I think I would enjoy it much more if it brought in the possibility, and I know this is asking a whole lot out of Biox, so I'm not really judging, I'm just saying I would like it more if it brought in the realistic side of industrialization as well. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Instead of just the caveman side of the world. Yes, the caveman side of the world is one thing, but I think if Terraforma Craft added industrialization to it, where we do have copper and we do have, you know, rubber trees and all these things that we start doing, you know, factories out of and stuff, you know, yeah, that sounds wonderful. It could be like an in-game thing, you know? Well, not even end-game. That's something that you would just never stop working on. That's one of those things that... Well, I mean, like, after you finish the caveman crap. Well, um, what I'm saying, though, is that, like, if it was like that, I would keep a Terraforma Craft map for mm, easily a year just to get up to that point. Yeah, it's too caveman. Because, yeah, I mean, I like Terraforma Craft, but I wish they were, I mean, it's realistic, but so is Industrial Craft, so is Build Craft, you know? To a sense. Yeah. Of course, it's not completely how things are, but... <laughs> the Minecraft way. Right. So much bread we can make. So much bread. I'm gonna get it cooking, because I know you're gonna need it. So, um... With these bronze picks, uh, bronze picks, uh, I could, like, put an ingot in on the, uh, thing and it will fix it, like you said? Yeah. Or... Yeah, okay, like yeah. the very the default tab that opens up when you open the GUI of the tool table will actually um, will be the repair screen, and you can also add modifiers to it. So, let's say you found diamonds, um, you can add a diamond to it, and then it'll add 500 durability, but you oh, continue wow. to repair it with bronze, just with that added 500 durability. Hmm. So you can have like a really cool like pickaxe. Yeah, like my pickaxe is completely made out of iron, but it has a diamond on it, so it's got um I'd have to go look. It's got a good amount of durability on it really. And I repair it with more iron. Can you like use like stuff like redstone? Yeah, redstone will uh yeah, my my pickaxe has eight hundred and twenty five durability. But um you can use redstone. Let me look at the guide. There's a guide for it all. Materials and you is one of the books you get if you actually make it all. But since you're working with me, you won't ever have it. Well, actually, you will because I've got it. But you know. Uh, let's see modifiers. There's a list of modifiers. Um, I'm trying to find it. Oh, I'm passing right through it. All right. So diamond adds 500 durability, and mining level is increased to level three. Um, so, of course, that means you can mine obsidian. Oh, wow. Emerald adds 50% um, more durability. So, you know, I've got 825 uses, then that would add another 412 400. or so. Um, and it increases mining level to 2. Uh, redstone, each redstone dust increases the mining speed by, um, by 8 tenths. No. By 0 0.08, 8 hundredths. <laughs> um, at 25 out of 25, the boost is 2, which is equivalent to the next level tool. But it is not effective on weapons. Uh, you can attach moss, and moss will... Moss. Wow. Mm. <laughs> moss will slowly repair your tools. Um, I've been told that it... Uh, yeah, there we go. It's actually right there. M. Dios told me, but I saw it right here too. Sunlight speeds up the repairing process and it slowly repairs itself. Slower than Thomcraft. Auto smelt um, adds a, adding a lava crystal adds lava or auto smelt, which uh, smelts blocks as are harvested, sets mobs on fire for three seconds, and now it stacks with fortune or luck, which is new. It didn't used to do that, but it's not compatible with the silk touch modifier, which makes sense. Luck is added by Lapis, Sharpness is added by Quartz, Fiery is added by Blaze Rods, Necrotic is added by Black Bones, which are gotten from Wither Skeletons, Silky is added by a new, um, a new gem, which is Silk Touch, which is basically a large glob of aluminum brass or gold and a bunch of string. Um, 
Yeah. So. And an emerald. <laughs> I just used all my red stone. Nice. Nice, nice. 38 out of 50. <laughs> And then you can use an IC2 battery and electronic circuit to make it electric powered. Um, a diamond and a gold block will allow you to add one more modifier, and so will a wither, a wither star, nether star. Hmm. Let's this up. Pull it up. You have that book? Can I? Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> you read my mind. It was just something I was going to give you anyways, because it's useful. Now, my question is, I don't think I've got any lapis, do I? No. Hmm. Well, you'll see. Huh. Oh, alum alumite. 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 <laughs> Damn names. <laughs> Damn grammar. <laughs> also, the bread in the furnaces. You can help yourself. Bones. Durability 200. Really? For a bone? There are so many tools. It's not even funny. Wait, wait, wait. So if you use a bone on, like, my pick, it adds durability, or is this... I think so. That's crazy. Try it. I got bones. Two bones. I'm throwing them down the stairs now. <coughs> Thank you. Sure. See what happens. Cause it's, I don't know if I'm reading this book wrong or what, but oh, wrong. No, I th it. Yeah, uh, that may be for the bone tools. Yeah, it, it is. Want your bone back? <laughs> no, I still got my bone. <laughs> See? I'm gonna whack you oh, with my bone. Oh, modifiers is where I wanna go to. Huh? Yes. Is there a way I can skip to it faster, or what? Is what? Is there a way I can skip to it faster, or... Wait, nope. Next page. Oh. Okay, I see. Diamond. That, that's me. This is really me. Let's see. You gotta get a diamond. You gotta get a diamond. Good luck finding freaking emeralds, bro. What is this? This is lava crystal. That's fortune, fortune or looting, depending on your time. Ah, oh, we gotta get lapis. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Right now I'm hiding you in fear. You happen to have one lapis? No, I have no lapises. Ooh. Hey, ender pearls. That worked flawlessly. Let me out this door, don't you glitch. I just got two ender pearls from an ender tot. Well, the ender tot <laughs> dropped tot. zero. But his parents spawned in, and they suffocated. <laughs> Poor derp, guys. Derp, derp, derp. So I got two more. I'm gonna come down here and do some mining alongside you. Gotta get that lapis. Leopis. Mm, Leopis. That's a lot better, actually, with the speed. I like this. Yeah, it's nice speed. It could go faster though. <laughs> oh, it can go much faster. But you can also save on redstone and just make better level picks. Like Alumite has a faster base speed. That is true. And Alumite's not difficult to make. How do you get it? Um, you have to go through the alloys part of that pay that book that I've got, another book I've got. In the smeltery book. Ooh. Books. It's books li it, it's five iron ore, two aluminum ore, and two obsidian. In the smeltery. I have a question. Do these books work with the that one mod, the bookshelves? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know though. I haven't That's tried. Sad. I haven't tried. I would just assume not, since they don't really extend an item class for books. I would assume. Maybe they do. I don't know. I didn't make the mod. It'd be really cool though. Why are you asking me like it's my mod? <laughs> Lol.
Well, I thought maybe you tried it. Mm. I don't really use Bibliograph too much. It's just Do we a... have it right now? Yeah, we've got it. That's how I've got the labels on my chests. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how used to it I am. You do it all the time now, it's like vanilla. Yeah. Give I just this like it because it's a leather free way of getting labels. Stone rock thing a try. That's amazing. These stone torches. I like the stone torches, they're pretty cool. They work for me. So yeah, guys, this video is getting pretty long anyways, but I'm probably going to just sit here and do some mining, so I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here and the episode here, so hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the modded survival server. Uh, we do play on hard, of course, because that's the only way to play nowadays. Um, but yeah, we've got tons of mods to look into. I'm pretty excited about some of this stuff. Um, yeah, don't know what to look to next, but we're going to find out soon enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.